rhetoric and well preserved. Thousands of protesters against climate change have the rise in the water level reaches its maximum. Millions of climate refugees investigation teams to the Antarctica. Thaw exposes prehistoric and well preserved doctors. It is some kind of viral outbreak of unknown origin spreads throughout the meat. Experts have named the unknown coronavirus as COVID-21. Spreading across the country. Symptoms include disorientation, seizures, lacerations, and attacks of rage. Martial law has been declared throughout the country. Hospitals have been declared in quarantine. The authorities have cordoned the area off without making any type of declaration. This COVID-21 of the main cities. People demand solutions to facing a global pandemic. Refugees fill up the borders as the government tries to contain. The doctors who assist them don't know. Chaos spreads through the main city. The authorities have cordoned the area off without making any strange effects of the coronavirus by spreading across the country. Three hospitals have been declared in the organization advises isolation. Chaos contact is prohibited. Symptoms include disorientation. The spread of the new coronavirus is worrying the world health Suspension of civil rights to ensure the law has been declared throughout the session of martial law. survivors tell horrible stories about infected people. The attack spreading out of control. Government announced the holiday position of martial law. It's the biggest pandemic in history. It's the creating a global pandemic virus. Call for disobedience through social media. We don't know what's going on. Be infected. Chaos spreads through the main city. Violence is spread out. The government recommends saving water and the police can't stop them. The army has taken one out. The government recommends saving water. See one of them approach. Close doors and windows can be closed. Saving water spreads and creates a communication systems are collapsed by emergency No one goes near hospitals or places of contagion. The incidents are repeated in the capitals and major cities. We are declared in quarantine. The authorities have cordoned off the area without making any type of sacrifice. This is the biggest pandemic in history. We have to make some sacrifices for the good of humanity. What's going on? Okay, okay. Bye. Charlie! Let's go. Members and activists have entrenched themselves in front of the building, demanding answers. They're protesting the imposition of martial law. The spread of the new coronavirus is worrying the World Health Organization that has met urgently. We are facing a global pandemic. This is an official government announcement. The passage through public places is forbidden. Martial law has been declared throughout the country. Suspension of civil rights to ensure security to go out in the street by authorities continues. The government recommends saving water and collecting food. Dr. Allison, epidemiologist and coronavirus expert, has just landed.
What the fuck's going on, man? What the fuck? Yes, sir, I'll be there. Yeah. Understood. Yes, sir, I'll be there. Did you change your map yet? What happened? I have to go. No, no, wait, Kenan. You promised me. We are dealing with a global alert. Well, let them call someone else. My mom will come to help you with the baby.
Phase one completed, sir. Come on, Kanem. You and your team should escort the science team to the lab as soon as possible. Things are getting too complicated, too fast at this end. Yes, sir. Turn that shit down. Oh, come on. Do you think this is still the army, man? This is not Afghanistan. Loosen up, bro. Wait till we get there. What the fuck is that? A crash? I get on the radio. Don't stop. Are we stopping? No, we are not stopping. Continue. Okay, boss. Fine with me. Lovecraft to Eco Race. Sir, do you copy? What's happening, bro? We lost comms. What? Here? What the fuck, man? Shit! I didn't see it was moving. What? A girl? A crash, maybe? I guess. We drive around her and keep moving, no? No way, dude. Oh, come on. You know we have orders. No stopping under any circumstances, and that girl is any circumstances. We'll call when we get back to radio coverage. You know I can't. Oh, come on. We'll pick her up and drop her somewhere safe. We are stopping to pick up a survivor of the crash at What's happening? She will stay in the super vehicle till we find somewhere safe. There is a girl in the middle of the road. Did he say there's a girl? Hey, Shuri.
fuck just happened? What are those things? Did you see what happens when they bite? Did you see their eyes? Save the question for later, Johnson. The whole fucking unit. The whole damn unit, man. We lost them because of that fucking girl, because of you. Shut up, soldier. We have a mission. Yeah, what mission? The one you just ruined? Nothing of this would have happened. You didn't send anybody to check out that fucking girl. Stop. And now what, Captain? Now. Now keep that fucking mouth shut. And your eyes open. We have to get out of here. I will try to make contact by satellite. Lovecraft, Creek away. Do you receive me? Sir, we are in a critical situation. The convoy has been attacked. We have lost the entire unit. We need reinforcements. We are in DEFCON 1. Under global biological emergency. Complete your mission. Do not expect reinforcements. Sir, the mission has failed. We have lost everyone, including the scientific delegation. Negative. Dr. Allison's biological center is still active. West of her position. Locate her. It is an absolute priority. Only she can stop the infection. I'm losing the you must protect her and escort her to the laboratory. I'm losing the signal. Complete your mission. Sir? Sir? Nothing. So what now? We have a mission. Thank <laughs> you.
Have you been bitten? No! Please! Don't shoot! You're leading those bloodsuckers into my territory. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Come on! We lost them. Ah. Now, who the fuck are you? My name's Alison. I'm a biochemist. Ah, uh, just what we need, another fucking scientist. What the fuck were you doing out here playing zombie bait? Ah. I'm headed to the west. I have a mission. Do you have a phone? I really what? need to make a call. You mean them, the government's favorite spy gadget? Hell no. Seriously? Who doesn't have a phone? Yeah, seriously. Shut up. Shut the fuck up now, okay? You're gonna get us both killed. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on. Who killed him? That little rainy bitch? No way. Where are the remains? Maybe someone else. Oh, I got a secure cabin ready for lockdown till this blows over. It's stocked up with food and weapons and good to go. That's where I'm going. Where are you going? I don't know. Oh, yeah, the West. The West. What's in the West, anyway? I have to get to Baxton, OK? Baxton? You can't get to Baxton from here. Why? Because you'd have to go to Oates. You have to go past Oates, and there's no way you can cross Oates. Oates is loaded with those brain suckers. Like any town for that matter. Towns are like motherfucking brain sucker incubators or something. Well, maybe I can go around. <laughs> That's why there is no way getting around it. Okay, not to the south, not to the north. It just can't be done. Are you sure? I mean, I have to get there. I have to try. You're not hearing me, are you? I thought you were the, the scientist. You can't get there. Too far away, too many towns. I have to. You don't understand. I've been studying this virus for the last few weeks. There's a possibility that the effects can be reversed. Reverse the virus? What are you talking about? 
So about two months ago, we had the first case. You know the thaw, right? The ice is melting. Well, some prehistoric remains were discovered in Antarctica, and there was a scientific investigation. Some of the best scientists in the world went out there to study these remains, and they must have come into contact with something. Some virus latent, able to withstand extremely cold temperatures. Yeah, and... yeah. you're telling me your scientists are responsible for us getting our brains sucked out. Is that what he's saying? This is, why, why does this surprise me, huh? I'm saying the virus was exposed because the ice is melting. Listen, what's important is you need to know it's spread by bodily fluids and it can control anything with the central nervous system, even if the heart stopped beating. Yeah. And it starts with the bleeding from the eyes and the mouth and the nose and these burning temperatures and violent aggression and uncontrollable... Even hunger. if the heart stops beating, that's just messed up. I know how it sounds, but you've seen it for yourself. You know, I just, I just about got enough of this crap and of you, to be honest. You're not listening to me. I need to get to Baxton. The samples from the Too original... Too dangerous. They're in the lab in Baxton. I could cure these monsters, please. Shut up. I tell you what we can do. My cabin's right on the other side of the mountain. I get you so far. And there's about uh, a day's walk to Baxton show you some paths. But I'm telling you, it's suicide. Anyway, you got to stay away from towns, OK? Towns are death, baby. Towns are death. And that's it. Why won't you listen to me? I can stop this. Yeah, well, good luck with that, miss. I ain't going with you. My name is Alison. Yeah, well, I ain't going with you, Alison. <laughs> you really are a pain in the ass, aren't you? All right. If you are coming with me, there are two rules. Rule number one, don't piss me off. Rule number two, watch out for the skinny ones. Those are some really sneaky little fuckers. They're extremely sensitive to any kind of visual and auditory stimuli. In other words, you make any kind of noise, you get them on your ass. Are we clear? Good. about the extinction of the human race here. Why should we care? Does anyone you cross on the street give a fuck whether we live or die? Adapt and survive, that's my motto. Except I'm not fucking Boy Scout. 
And you're not worried that there are living dead people everywhere. What difference does it make? At least they are not spreading shit on social media and taking selfies. Humanity has gone to hell long ago, but we were too busy to notice. Please, you have to help me. No way. But if you help me, we could change things. Well, maybe, but what for? What do you mean, what for? A society that doesn't take care of its own is doomed to extinction. Where there are no values, there's no future. You really have no faith in humanity, do you? Surely there's something worth saving, someone! Yeah? Who do you want to save, huh? Let's hear it. What? People that slap you down for no reason? Morons that think they're better than you because they have a doctor's title? Rich fucks that spend their money on bullshit while half the world is starving to death. On what motherfucking rose-covered planet have you been living on? Because on mine, there's nothing but crap. There are people worth living for. People worth fighting for. Don't you have a family? Yeah, sure. An ex-wife and alimony to pay. And you don't care about anyone. Do they care about me? I don't know. But I'd do anything to protect my family. Let me give you a last piece of advice. Don't get your hopes up for humanity. You might save yourself from a major disappointment. Maybe there's a phone, or water, or a car, something. Yeah, a fountain of champagne, hmm? Why didn't I think of that? I'm so glad I brought you with me. That's probably the reason why you earned the big bucks. Looks clear. It all seems so deserted here. What do you think happened? I don't know, but it sure is dead now. Okay, let's go. Wait. What? Can we rest? Please, you said it's safe. They're almost there. It's not far anymore. All right. We camp here tonight. And we go on tomorrow. You can sleep over there. We rest first. I take first watch.
Sorry. Save some bullets. I thought I'd come quietly. But uh, it's obvious you with your screaming you already made a breakfast call, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was I was asleep. I didn't expect I was just choice. It's full of rats. There's something else down here. I really hope that was a rat. That's not a rat. Are you okay? 
I'm fine. Okay. Hi. Listen, uh, I want to talk to you about something. Um, sorry about, um, sorry about talking to you like that before. It's fine. I, um, thank you for saving my ass back there. It's okay. You're welcome. Scott. Hmm? Scott, that's my name. Scott. No. Okay. What was that? I know, but I don't like it. It, it could be a rescue team. Yeah, it could be anything. But maybe they could help us. Maybe not. Sir, did you receive me? We are blind. I just keep wondering. If everything just went to hell, why are we risking it? Because we have a mission. What mission? I don't think there's anything left to defend. The doctor? Do we have another option? Wait, wait. Wait. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Maybe they have phones. Jesus. Come on. Excuse me. What are you doing? Hi. Jesus Christ. Hold on there, friend. Hmm? Let's see what we got here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please, we have an emergency. Oh, oh, an emergency. Oh, well, look around you, honey. <laughs> of course it's an emergency. The whole world's gone to shit. I need to make a call. Do you have a phone? What kind of fool do you take me for? Of course I've got one. Here. You're welcome to try it. The lines are all saturated. It's all gone to hell. Yeah, me and the boys have been pretty busy since this all started. I see you've been keeping yourself entertained. Mm. We, uh, we started off in town, but uh, my friend, I don't mind telling you, we lost some good men out there. Yes, we did. It's hard to hear that. But you still got a good size group. Hell, we're thinking about organizing another raid if you want to join. Mmm. I'm going to have to take a rain check on that one. We got dinner planned. We need help. Please, we have a mission. Oh, oh, a mission? Oh, right, yes, sir, ma'am. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call it a mission. Forgive me, though, because uh, you two don't look like Whoa. there's many of you. Or is there some others hiding in the darkness somewhere? We're the only ones left. Oh. oh, I get it now. Oh, do those monsters scare you, honey? Hey, those sons of a bitches get you bad. Oh, by the way, you don't happen to have some water and some extra ammo by any chance. Oh, well, of course. Anything for my new friends, hell. Come on, come on over here with me. Come on. So tell me, what exactly is your mission, beautiful? Uh, uh, I'm 
a biochemist, Ooh. and I need to get to Baxton to a laboratory. I can synthesise the cure and end all this. End all this? Well, how the hell are you going to end all this? I, I just don't know what to tell you. But I do know something. I'm starting to get used to survival of the strongest. Just take whatever I want, whenever I want it. What? <laughs> oh, hell. Hell, I'm just kidding, hey? Oh, you should have seen your face. Fucking hell. Oh. Hey, hey, we got to make out of each other. We want to make it out alive, right? Long live humanity, right? Exactly. Yeah. What the fuck's going on now? Well, you know, the boys, they've been drinking to relieve the, uh, the tension. It's been a few days of hell. Well, what does a man want anyway? Well, a drink and a woman. But as women go, there ain't too many around here, so, uh, so we, we have two drinks. <laughs> You know what? We really appreciate your help, lady, but we gotta get going now. Whoa, 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 whoa. what's the rush? <laughs> Ain't you gonna stay and enjoy the party? <laughs> Hell, the world's going to fucked. Seriously, why not enjoy what you have left? You know what? Mm, if, if I may, uh, just talk to my partner for just a second. Just a second. Of course. Yeah, you don't mind. No. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? What am I doing? I need help. You won't get it here. Why? You can't be trusted. Why? Gosh. Do you need a fucking sign painted on that forehead? No, I don't need a sign. I need help. Or you won't get it here. Well, they seem more willing than you. You're only taking me halfway in there. They obviously have what I need. Yeah, right. OK, I owe you. I want to help you. I want to take you to Baxton, but for now, let's get the fuck out of here, okay? Thank <laughs> you. 
Drop the rifle down. Down. <laughs> You're not one of them. Hey, Captain. This one's alive. Hey, buddy. We need to know some stuff. Have you seen a woman who looks like an earth? Yeah, man, yeah, I think so. She said she was going to Baxton. Baxton? Are you sure? I, I don't know, man. She, she said she had some sort of mission. Sir, Baxton is 100k away from the target. It's too far from the lab. Freezing. Yep. Welcome, climate change. But you must have seen that coming, huh? You're a scientist. Yeah, not a weather announcer. Bread in circuses. What? What does that even mean? My father used to say that. Weird. Never mind. Hey, for being a scientist, you're not too smart, are you? I'm smart enough. You just don't know it yet. Yeah, right. Smoke and mirrors. Swings and roundabouts. What? Oh, you're not smart. Are you not a scientist? Because, I mean, you can't be. Charming. If I wasn't a scientist, you wouldn't be traipsing through the forest trying to save humanity with me, would you? Hey, you're giving yourself too much importance. You know, I'm just going to my way. You're just coming along. From inside a cabin. Bet you wish you were there now. Oh, yeah. Love my cabin. Got the fire. Got my, my whiskey. You light a fire or something. There's dry wood there. I can't. That's the first thing they would see. Get it, do you? What? If the virus doesn't kill us all, it's gonna be World War Three, fucking climate change, or a goddamn <sighs> asteroid. I don't know. It don't matter. Like with the dinosaurs. Once upon a time, they walked the earth. They're like motherfucking kings of the world. Until universe decided to wipe them out. End of story. Now it's our turn. Now it's our turn, and we fucking deserve it. We are motherfucking plagued to this planet. You have no faith in humanity, do you? Seriously, none. <laughs> Who would you save, huh? Hmm? Say it. Just, just one person. Who would you save? Like fucking Gandhi? Your father? 
Yeah, um, I would save my father, OK? I would save my family. I would save you. What? <laughs> what? You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, OK? You're a good person. You don't know me. Don't I? You don't know me. You don't talk about me, all right? You've brought me here. Listen, you're judging me by what I've done these days. Yeah, because who else would traipse across the forest through sun and snow to try and risk their lives to save humanity? That's what you're actually doing. You don't know me. You don't know what I have done, OK? Well, what you have you done? You know nothing about me. You know nothing about what me. What have you done? Tell okay? me. OK, I killed someone, OK? Is that enough for you? What? Who? Who did you kill? I fought in Afghanistan. I, I was just 25. They sent me over there. I'd never been outside my home state. They said we were there for the right reasons. Well, I shot a kid. A kid? Why? What? He had a grenade launcher. They said he was a target. They said I had to protect my own. But he was a child! So I shut him down! He was <sighs> maybe my, my little brother's age at the time. I don't know. I can't sleep since, all right? I can't fucking sleep since! <sighs> I don't believe it. I was, I was devastated. I had nightmares. I tried to find his family. I found the house where he lived. Nobody was there. A neighbor told me they were at their two sons' funeral. They just lost their only two sons. I'm sorry. You, you wanna fucking save the world? Fuck. Look. What? What would you say this is? A fucking plan. To you. To me, it's a life. Growing out of the dead concrete against all odds. Don't you see? There's always a reason to carry on. Where do you say, though? Where do you say?
Unbelievable. We might actually make it. Thanks. Really. these houses. Yeah. Which one? There. Behind those. Well, there. Mm. That's a strange place for a lab. Hey, don't worry. I can solve this one for you. Do you trust this guy? Do we have another option? That's wrong. I don't have much left either. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 
fuck those guys, man. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Ah! Yes! Fuck! No, no, no! No, fuck off! Go away! Leave me alone, you fucking bastard! Fuck you! Fuck you, guys! No! No! Everything was just a lie. I tried to tell you, but I was scared. I had to find her. Oh, you found her, huh? I'll be happy. No, wait, please. Goodbye, Alison. Where are you going? There's nowhere left to go. I'm sorry.
What? Thank you for saving my mom. mom. Isn't she something? Tell me she doesn't deserve a chance. Tell me! Come on! Tell me! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Jesus Christ! Go, 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 go! Go, go! Go, go, go! Charlie, are you okay? Yeah? I'm glad to see you, Captain Cannon. Me too, Doctor. Sir, do you read me? Canem. Canem, did you get it? Sir, we have the target. Come on, soldier. I don't know how much we can take. You are the only hope. All right, sir. So what now? Complete the mission. <laughs> 